So welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video we're going to be setting up our navigation bar to automatically take its contents from WordPress. So if you create a page on WordPress, like a, maybe an about page or a testimonials page or something, it will automatically go in here or at least be able to, you can configure it from the back end of WordPress in the, w, in the uh, WordPress admin. You can configure it so that uh, these are all put here, you can structure it in whichever order you want. So there's no sort of digging into the code and changing URLs or anything there. So in order to accomplish this, we're going to need a third party sort of uh, code snippet, which we can get on GitHub. And I've got a link right here. And I'll put this link in the description. It's called WP Bootstrap Nav Walker. The reason why we need this is because uh, WordPress by default cannot actually, do it doesn't allow you to add a class to um, uh, the list item. So this is all surrounded by in, a in an unordered list and WordPress doesn't allow us to add a class to that list because it generates this list automatically. So what this allows us to do is add that class to it. And it does it by default, it gives us this uh, nav, navbar dash nav classes to it so that it all styles perfectly fine. And it also gives us a nice little touch of when these are clicked or when we're on that page, uh, it will show this active by sort of having a different shade to it, or a different color. So that's quite nice, it just makes our life a lot easier and it wouldn't be possible without it so uh, yes yeah, so what we're going to do is just on the github page again link in the description we're just going to go download zip and then hit down uh, just open that up and what it does is it gives you a license a readme file and also this uh, php file so what we need to do is extract and then we can close the original one and then we're going to open it up and here's the php file that we need so what I'm going to do is on my server uh, what we've got is we've got my my theme directory, which is inside themes WP content is where all of, all of your theme stuff is. We're just gonna drag this over and put it in there. I've already got it there, but you need to just drag that in. Uh, well, whilst we're in FileZilla or whatever FTP program or however you're doing it, we also want to create a new file which is gonna be functions.php, and this is gonna contain like the uh, the information for your theme to sort of get it running in the back end. Just it's a bit hard to explain, but we need it to be able to do this. So I'm just going to view slash edit and drag that into there. So in our functions file, what we're going to do is just create a PHP. And by the way, this is automatically included into the theme, so we don't need to import it into any of our other files. WordPress just automatically knows what this functions.php means and what to do with it. So if we come over to here, the documentation is really gone here. This tutorial is pretty much, pretty much going to be a video version of this, uh, so it's going to be quite quick, just a bit of copying and pasting. So the first thing we need to do is import this uh, WP Bootstrap Navwalker.php file into uh, the functions.php, so it knows where that file is. Because this isn't imported automatically, but functions is. So functions is going to say, okay, you need to import this as well. So once that's done, we can actually use it. So the next part to do is to add this to the actual theme, but we're going to come back to that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually register uh, this new nav menu. So what I mean by this is we're going to tell WordPress this is a new menu, and you can edit this menu from the WordPress backend. So WordPress is going to know that we have a new menu. So this is defining a new menu, essentially. So what I'm going to do is we can just copy and paste that in there, and I'm just going to for my to keep things neat okay so I'm just gonna leave that like that and we can leave most of this code except for I'm going to change a uh, theme name this is gonna match your theme name so in my case it's my theme uh, it doesn't matter too much but just um, just put the name of your theme there so in my case just my theme and you can leave this as primary menu as well and just save that and then head over into the header.php where your uh, your navigation is and we're just going to delete everything including this unordered list so get rid of the unordered list and the closing one and you should be left with something like this well you should be left with exactly the same as this and in here is where we're going to go uh, we're going to go back up to this step and we're pretty much just going to copy this and we're going to go paste it over in here 
and as you can see it's done a really bad job of indentation, indenting it so I'm going to fix that now okay so I've just structured all of that by indenting it all in and now there's just a couple of things we've got to change uh, where it says container here this is basically saying what tag do you want to be wrapped around uh, this navigation now we've already got our container on here we've already got this div class of collapse navbar collapse nav header collapse um, although if you didn't have it you could include this in and what it would do is it will create a container automatically for you around it but since we don't need that we can literally just go delete this line and also the line above it because we don't want this container at all we just want the nav and nothing and nothing but it uh, the rest is all good to go as you see here menu class this is actually the class that's going to be added to the unordered list so if you've got any custom styles for this feel free just to add your extra classes here but for me I'm just using default bootstrap which is nav and navbar dash nav so yeah that, that's it that's pretty much it so save it and I'm just going to re refresh it all on my server and put it over there and then if we head back into our site and refresh you will see that it now has a button up here on the navigation saying add a menu and this is because we haven't defined the menu items in WordPress so we need to create that so just click on the button that's created there and that will take you into the WordPress admin if you're not already logged in you will need to log in and then you'll be taken to appearance and there's now a new tab in here called menus so open that up and in here what we can do is create a menu name so I'm going to call it header menu you can call it whatever you want and what you'll see here is we can structure these so we could put home there if we really wanted to for whatever reason or we could put about page at the end and home at the beginning and we can set these to be custom URLs so what this means for us is that we can go into links here and we can set our URL to just hash and then link text to social and then press add to menu and we've now got the social button here which isn't actually a button and what we can do here is we can have a URL so twitter.com forward slash coders guide sorry coders underscore guide and then links link text is twitter add to menu and then right here what we can do is put twitter inside of it so it should be slightly indented and that creates it as a sub item to this parent of social so social is now here and twitter is going to go underneath it and uh, we'll just create another one for Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash coders guide YT, I believe it is. And uh, we'll put this as Facebook. Add to menu. Uh, I would do Google Plus and everything, but that's not the point of the video, so I'll just skip through that. And uh, we'll put Facebook there. And as you can see, these can also be customized and everything, but that's all fine. Then once we've sorted all of our pages out, we can also do categories as well, by the way. So if we wanted to create uh, another one which is going to be hash again and this is going to be a blog add to menu uh, blog can go there and then we can add categories and add all of these in add to menu and then we could take these categories and put them underneath blog so we could take smartphones there we could take tablets guides and uncategorized and there we go so now that's all structured and these are going to come out as drop downs by the way so now the next part to do is auto add pages I'm going to leave this unchecked basically if you go into here and create a new page um, it's basically saying it will automatically be added to this navigation I personally uh, wouldn't do this just add it manually if you want to but that's always an option there if you wanted to theme locations we're going to set this to the primary menu and the primary menu is this right here because remember we said it's a menu and then it's primary so we want to add this structure to that menu along the top of our page so check that box there and press save menu and then go to manage locations and here you can see primary menu which again is the top menu and we've got it set to this header menu which we just created now so now if we head over to our site you can see it's all looking really good we've got our home we've got blog and these are all of our different categories so I can go guide slash tutorials and there's that we've also got social and that's going to link us into Twitter 
so that's working all nicely as well and obviously the Facebook one will work as well and the sample page will link us to that page and the about us page will link us to that as well um, this needs some work on it because obviously we don't want to show the like ec the uh, excerpt here we want to show the whole thing and we want to redesign this page completely so that will be coming up in a future tutorial uh, but for now that's it oh one last thing uh, this navigation bar uh, we want it to obviously be pulled over to the right and that's really easy we can just go back into our code under header.php and in here we've got menu class and we need to add another one which is going to be navbar dash right and that's just going to pull it straight over to the right and then we'll just refresh that and there you can see the navbar is over on the right so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching if you found it useful uh, be sure to drop a like comment subscribe favorite whatever you do uh, follow me on Twitter as well, links in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.